Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to be making a simple shop GUI in Roblox Studio. If you need help or anything, contact me on the Discord server, out of over. Link is on the screen and in the description. If you don't know anything about Roblox UI design, I suggest you go watch our UI design tutorial before watching this. Link is in the description as well. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first off, we're going to be making our GUI. So, going to start GUI, click on the plus, and insert screen GUI. And plus, we'll name the shop. Color plus, insert a frame, and I'll just rescale it. This is a good size for what I'm making, so I'll set the color to what I want, which is 40 40 40, and then add some UI corner. And I'm gonna look like this. So I'm ending this frame, mainframe, and then I'll have the text at the top saying SHA. And then it should just look like this. Then click on the plus and I'll add a new frame. And then I'll make it about this big. Then we'll have it just almost go to the middle. And the right corner, just make a new one. Just change this. And it should just look like this. We'll name this frame Game Passes. And I'll set the color to 50 50 50. And then we could duplicate this game passes frame and then put it on the other side. Then we'll name this game passes frame dev products. Then inside the game passes, we'll click on the plus and insert a scrolling frame. Now we're going to insert the scrolling frame the scale, the top down and the bottom, just so it fits between the um, corners. Then set the scroll bar and it's just white. And then it just looks something like this. We can scroll. Then add the scrolling frame into the developer products as well. So, what we'll do is we'll scale the top down just a tiny little bit and then we'll add the text inside. With all the little text, we'll just rescale that. And then put in game passes. And then on the other frame, we'll put de developer products. Or just products. Now, let's make our frame. So, inside of the game passes, add a UI list layout. Then, click on the plus, add a frame. And then, just size it. Maybe it might look like this. So I'll just say it's color 40 40 40. Now I'll name this screen Game Pass Ring. Then on the plus, I'll insert an image label. Scale it up. And then I'll add a UI coordinate inside of this image and then set the corner radius to 1. And inside this image label, you can just upload the image of your Game Pass to Roblox and then just put it right here. So once you put your image in, then we should be done here. So, it should just look like this. So we'll click on the plus again, add the text, then inside the size, and set the size to something about like this. Here we have our text, I'll just set the x alignment to the left. And then we'll put this game pass as maybe sword. Then we got our game pass name, we'll do is we'll make a new one. Then we'll just put some info in it like. Then we'll just put a sword. You can put a more detailed description, I just don't know what to put. So once we've done that, we'll insert a frame. Rescale it. Then we should just like this, we'll set background color free to 50. 50. Add some UI corner to it. The text. And then we'll do Gotham as our font that I've been using. And then the text I'll just put purchase. And then on plus, insert a text button. Set the size to 111010. The background size is 0. And so the text, just, just a space bar. They should just load this. Inside the text bar, click on the plus in the local script. We'll do local, we'll do local game pass ID. Vehicles, the uh, game pass ID, I don't have one, so we could just put that in. And then we'll do local MS equals game colon get service marketplace service. And we'll do script dot print dot mouse one click colon connect function 
MS column prompt game pass purchase and then we'll do game dot players dot local player comma and then we'll do game pass ID. And there we go, that's what you need to do. Now let's make one of for our developer products. So we'll duplicate this game pass frame and then we'll put it into the dev products scrolling frame. Make sure that the UI list allowed to the dev products frame as well. And then here we'll just rename game pass frame to product frame and then inside the frame text button and instead of game pass purchase we'll do products purchase first up clothing or an accessory what you need to do is instead of prompt game prompt product purchase do just prompt purchase and if you want to prompt a premium purchase so you can purchase Rolex premium from your game you can do prompt premium purchase there we go and if you're just sort of trying to get a commission move, so you can get some robux from what people buy from your game instead of prompt premium purchase you prompt bundle purchase so a bundle is basically headless if you want to play it like that so we got it that now a script our button so what we'll do is we'll select mainframe and then we'll set the anchor point to 0 0.5 0 0.5 then set the position to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 and then set the position to from Y say to 1.5. And then click on the plus in the shop. Then what we can do is we'll copy this button from the game pass frame, paste it in, and then we have it right here. So set the Z index to 2. And I'll just change the UI corner real quick. And just rescale it down. So we like this. And then the text, what we'll do is we'll just put in shop. And then say the text one. We'll just clear this out. And then we'll do local open equals true. Then if open equals equals true, then open equals false, else open equals true. Then here, what we'll do is we'll do scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot mainframe on screen position yielding two dot new zero point five zero zero point five zero. Then we'll do in out quad, and then the time we'll should, we'll just put a zero point five then true. Then just copy this, paste it in this new line right here, and then zero point five is 1.5 right here and then once you're done you can go ahead and test your game all right so in the game we got our shop button if i click it i'll just tweet in then once you click on the purchase button it should prompt you with a game pass purchase and with the other products we'll do purchase and prompt you with a developer product and i or if you put the um clothing then you'll be a clothing product so yeah that's pretty much everything and then if you click shop again it'll close so there we go, we have our little open and close. And then we can just go ahead and stop. So that's pretty much how you make a simple after UI. I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.